Hello guys, how are you? I hope you are doing fab. Today we are going to continue with the 100 dresses part 2. As we know it is written by Eleanor Estes. It was published in the year 1944. So the characters already we have been discussed in part 1st. Then also I am telling you again. Wanda Petronsky, a Polish American girl. Then Maddie, her classmate or friend you can say. Then Peggy, again uh, classmate of Wanda Petronsky, Miss Mason, their teacher. Okay. Now we are getting a scenario where most of the children, most of the students are walking round or walking circle in the classroom. There were the monitor of the class, room number 13, the monitor of room, room number 13, he comes in, hands over the letter that he received from the principal office and he handed over to Miss Mason. Now Mason asks all the children in front of her to stay quiet because she is not going to narrate or read the story of a letter and that particular letter has come from Wanda's father. Wanda's father has written that letter. He is mentioning there that Wanda and Jack both are not going to come to the school as they used to come. Why? Because the whole family of Petronsky has been gone to live in a city where most of the people like them do live together. Then after hearing it, Maddie and Peggy who used to bother, who used to harass Wanda, they felt very ashamed. They felt a kind of guilty. They were having a guilty conscience. Why? Because all the time they used to pet her, they used to disturb her all along, all through the course. Now, Peggy has chalked out a plan. Peggy now makes a plan with her friend Maggie that they are supposed to be visiting Boggins Heights. Now, Boggins Heights is the place where Petronsky family used to live. Now, they have approached to that place, finding that area or rather the place where their house is located, that house is pretty clean. Maybe that is not up to the mark, not so much good, but then the condition of that house is pretty well, very clean. They found that the weather when they reached there, it was, it was damp and dismal. Light raining was taking place. It was drizzling. Okay, small, small raindrops were coming from the sky. The atmosphere was gloomy sort of and ultimately they found the house was empty there was nobody there was none it was fully empty now maddie and peggy come back to their respective houses they were feeling again guilty that they have harassed wanda all through and they could not able to show their compunction their remorse, their repentance in front of Wanda. Because of this guilty conscience, because of this sort of feeling that they could not unburden their, their remorse, Maddie could not able to sleep that particular night and kept on thinking about Wanda's blue dress. That means she comes back, Maddie comes back home. This is the night time. She just like tries to sleep. But then when she tries to sleep, the image of Wanda Petronsky comes. And there where the turmoil happens. Now Peggy and Maddie finalized to write a letter, a friendly sort of letter in which they had mentioned about the winning of 
प्राइज हु वॉन द प्राइज वैंडा पेट्रॉन्स की वॉन द प्राइज एंड शी इज नॉट एट द क्लास शी हैज बीन एबसेंट शी हैज बीन गॉन टू लिव इन अ सिटी सो दे डिसाइडेड टू राइट अ लेटर इन ऑर्डर टू इन्फॉर्म हर अबाउट हर विनिंग ऑफ प्राइज एंड दे वर राइटिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर लेटर ऑन सैटरडे नाउ शी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आज हाउ वॉज द न्यू सिटी देर शी वॉज डिंग इन शी वॉज लिविंग इन हु पेट्रॉन्स की वैन द पेट्रॉन्स की वॉज लिविंग इन एंड देन हाउ वॉज द न्यू टीचर ओवर देर द प्लेस वेर शी वॉज रिसाइडिंग एंड देन शी फाइनली आई मीन टू से पैगी एंड मैरी बोथ ऑफ दैम फाइनली मेल्ड the letter having written the address bogin sites that means whenever patrons ki family comes back their uh, earlier home they would get the letter as soon as they reach there and then they will be informed about all this successes of vanda patronski isn't it now some days passed by some weeks perhaps gone by no answer came in after some point of time wanda sent a letter to miss mason now miss mason is the teacher now she started reading out the letter in which wanda mentions very specifically that all the all the dresses she drew in the drawing competition they are all supposed to be given to the whole class of room number 13 that means 100 dresses she drew and the paintings the drawings of 100 dresses should be distributed should be given to all the students of room number 13 and this particular letter came in at the time of christmas festival and then she also said when the patronski also added in the letter that she did have all her new dresses in a new house in the new city and specifically she mentioned out that paggy to have a green dress with red trimming as i uh, just drew here these are the trimmings or carvings or designings that can be seen on the surface area of any kind of uh, let's say apparel of ladies and then mary to have a blue one a blue dress to own and this is how when mashan when got the letter she could also get the address from where this letter has come now she is able to send the medals to vanda patronski she won medals no so she wanted to send those medals to vanda patronski now she got the address finally now mary took the drawing of vanda patronski came back with that drawing to her home in her room mary pinned the drawing and after some point of time she did notice that her own face was visible that means mary's own face was visible along with the dress why could not she able to understand that her face was pre present or drew because the surface area of the apparel of the dress was so vivid was so bright in color that she could not able to figure out whether there was any face was really drawn or not right and then as when she spotted her own face she rushed to peggy peggy is of course her classmate her friend and then peggy also confessed that her own face was too understandable was visible to her along with the dress it just goes to show 
that in spite of Maddy and Peggy's disturbance to Vanda Petronsky, Vanda Petronsky never took any of their words to her heart. She always considered them the good friends, the good classmates. That's why she drew their faces along with the dresses as well. And finally, how the story ends? The story ends with the picturization. Of course, that uh, the picturization is the product of uh, imagination. Maddie is thinking, imagining that the teary eyed image of Vanda Petronsky standing all alone at the school courtyard. And finally, they just thought at least they have got their answer back. After having written the letter, they had got their answer back in terms of letter only that came from Vanda to Miss Mason and Miss Mason mentioned all her writings, all her instincts, what Vanda said in her letter and that is how they just felt hunky-dory. So this is how the ending takes place of this particular story. I just wanted to add on something about Eleanor Estes. I should have it spoken at the earlier in part one, but I missed it. Eleanor Estes was born in America in the place Connecticut. She started writing when she fell ill and she started suffering from tuberculosis. Since then she started writing. So all these activities that happened around her, she used to take it down in terms of notes and how Polish American people were harassed, were petrubbed, were disturbed by other fellow Americans. That is what she tried to show vividly in this story. So only the lesson is learned that we should not judge anyone on the basis of their, let's say, country, caste. All I mean to say there has to be no discrimination. We are human beings, so we are human beings. There is no nothing in between. And we should live our life harmoniously. This is the soul and substance of this story. So I hope you have understood the story, the moral of the story. Like the video, subscribe to my channel and give comments in the comment section. Thank you so much for your time.